Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check, check, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nah, none of Man, man, man. Look at this guy. Look what the wind them blew in. <laughs> Look what the wind them blew in, man. I ain't, really, I thought the nigga was too big to come back to Boss Talk. You know, mm. nigga on. rolling, man. Nigga been working. I see the nigga everywhere, man. I, nigga made the 85 South before me. I see the nigga on the backside of 85 South performing and everything else for Carlos and him. Come on. I'm mm-hmm. like, damn, man. How you been, man? Baby, see in the building. I'm good, man. Chilling. Is it happening fast enough for you? It's on its way. So you working? I'm working. Man, so man, you know, last time, you know, we went down through that, so we know a little bit about you now. You know what I'm so, saying? So, but but the work ethic, man, I, I was kind of nervous about like, how is this guy gonna do? Is he gonna is he gonna slack back? Is he come on gonna come on with it? You know, mm-hmm. I seen you, I seen you do a lot of spectacular things that I want to talk to you about. Okay, you know what I'm so, saying, yeah. man? So, man, just just tell me a little bit about how it was. I mean, I seen you. Uh, was it either opening for Kevin Gates, man? Mm-hmm. Talk to me about that a little bit. How it happened? You know, my manager put it together. Okay, and then I just understood the assignment. You know what I'm saying? Give me some detail. I don't know. You know, you went out there. You hadn't been in that. Had you had been in front of that many people before? No, not that many people. Okay, so how were you it? nervous? Not at all. Really? No, I I'm wasn't a, at all. The hot boy West say, man, Turned that up? he was nervous, Turned didn't up. he? Still, he mm-hmm. said, hot boy West say he couldn't deal with it like when he first did it. You, but you say you just automatically felt felt like, damn, I'm supposed this to be real, here, right? Well, I'm gonna keep it real. Like, it's it's all about like. When you know you what you signed up for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I signed up to be in front of a lot of people like that. So, you know, and plus, I got a gift, so I want to show it to the world anyways. Wow. You know, so, so I did what I had to do. So um, you you definitely, uh, how, how did you feel like you performed? You know, being one that's coming out before Kevin Gay, he mm-hmm. got a lot of hits, man. And you come out, what what did you what, what song did you perform? Was it that main one you sung with Did Me Wrong? Yeah, Did Me Wrong, yep. How did you feel like the crowd embraced it? They loved it every time, every show. Really? They loved what, it. What was the, tell me uh, uh, something that's done happened, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, since you've been, you know, uh, promoting that song, man, something that you wouldn't have expected. Greatness. A lot of things that happen. You like know, what? A lot of people, you know. It, it's like a, I've been getting noticed a lot more. Like, you know, I've been seeing a lot, you know, meeting a lot of people get to be at a table with a lot of bosses, you know what I'm saying? You ever had a fan walk up to you and, you know, tell you how much they love your music, how much they love you? Like, what's the what's the most touching fan that ever came up to you and said something to you? I mean, I ain't had no, uh, like, most touching fan come up to me or and say Or surprising. Something. Yeah, but I done been in, like, Walmart, like, in my city or something, like, going, going out and stuff like that, and people would just walk up to me, like, you know, and just... You know, admire me, you know, so that is really touching, you know what I'm saying? But I done had people tell me, like, in my messages, like, how they, how I really done, you know, helped them out a lot. Right. You know, so that's really touching, too, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So, you know. All right, so, and and I seen you, I'm going to go back a little bit. I seen you at South by Southwest. Mm-hmm. I seen the police had you in handcuffs. I seen you was out there singing in handcuffs, nigga. I don't know if y'all staged it or what. I don't trust you niggas in this rap game. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I, what was going on with that, nigga? You know I got to ask you. A lot was going on. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot going on with that, man, you know, but. What happened? A lot. What gave you the audacity to sing, nigga? Right there, it, right? You just, you just, damn it! I'm gonna go and say rap right now. I'm like, fuck it, shit, fuck it. It's a stage, huh? Yeah, everything a stage. You know what I'm saying? They had me paranoid for real. <laughs> <laughs> Man, for real. so you, you did they tell that, you to stop singing? Did they try to shut you up? No, one of the, one of the police officers was like. I could listen to this all day. No, no, <laughs> no for real. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it was that was a crazy moment. Like that was real. That was for real. I don't want no video shoot. That was that was real. Who was who recorded it? I think it was some of my partners recorded that. I don't know. I really can't put my name put my um, tongue on the name right now. It was one of my partners though. One okay. of them recorded it. 
How, how many? How many? Uh, I, I mean, artists out of North Carolina that's coming up. Not uh, not the ones already been going like mm. the baby, but I'm any new outside of yourself. Any other new people coming up? Mm, just, it's just you, yeah. yeah. And I, I asked that because I'm gonna be up there. I'm supposed to be up there uh, close Carolina. to there. I'll be in South Carolina, which is some hours away. But I, I just who you know, if it's somebody I need to shine a light on up there, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, coming up there for a big race. I don't pay attention to who don't pay attention to me. Me, you know what I'm yeah, I get it. I'm supposed to be up there with my boy. Shout out Dunk Mouse and all them boys, mm -hmm. Carlos Millen, and we all rocking. But so. uh, definitely, man, just the way that uh, you you come on the scene is crazy, right? Mm -hmm. You got anything you want to add? Because I. You know, I keep going. I got, I got dope stuff to ask. You know what I'm saying? No, it's just so crazy because I remember when you were here last. To me, you look like you just grown into who you supposed to be. Yeah, you're grown into the man you're supposed to be. I see your physique. You've been working out, working trying to, out, you trying know, to, trying to, you know, yeah, for you. And it's crazy because I haven't been working out at all. Really? really? That's that young nigga stuff, man. It's because he's it's, grown. Yeah, he's still yeah. grown. It's, How old are you? Oh. <laughs> 21 You're 21 Yeah you still Yeah he still he's This still metabolism grown. rate I remember nigga 21 year old Don't really get fat nigga Until about you know, About 30 nigga You gonna start working out 28, 27 You're <laughs> Got them kids at the house man Them kids man Man so The uh, song Is it Paranoia Paranoia uh, with uh, that boy Finesse two times how did you end up even doing that is that another major move by the manager yes uh, that's dope bro you know the thing the thing is about it you know when you first get went into this thing with this manager not knowing him he just called you I remember our early on conversations man um he is a hell of a man. He's a manager like hell, ain't he? he goes, mm -hmm, yeah, I told he you that from the jump, didn't yeah, I? I said, that nigga working. go work now. If you don't yeah, do yeah. nothing else, he go work, right? Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, so how was it? Did you feel like you did your thing when you uh, did the song with it? Yeah. You got, course, you got it in? 110%. <laughs> did, what did he say to you? He was like, he said, uh, well, who said to me? Uh, Finesse Uter. When we was done with the video shoot, he looked at me. He was like, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie, little bro. You got one. <clears throat> but that's that's really all the conversation we had, you know what I'm saying? Okay. We really want, you know. Yeah, yeah, it was just you did your part and he did his part. Yeah. It was business. It was business. That's just dope, though. That's still, some things are business. There's yeah. some things better kept business, nigga. No, for well, sure. Yeah, you got something that you're trying to build. Mm -hmm. And where you're trying to build it from might not be connected to where somebody else might be building theirs no, from. For sure. But at the end of the day, you building. And sometimes you it may not be time right now to even link with a nigga. Yeah. You might hear, some niggas will slow your production down. Hell, that's everybody fair. ain't for you just because you hang out with them for a day either. Yeah, that's a All fair. this is good stuff for me. I walk off from a nigga in a minute and try to catch up and say, oh, I see you, nigga. I'm gonna come on with it. Yeah, <laughs> no, for real. No, for for real. real. I see you got because as time go along, you added more and more tattoos to your body. So that says road, um, the road to riches. Mm -hmm, road to riches. Yeah, tell me about that tattoo. Cause you know all tattoos that people be putting on have a meaning to mm -hmm. it. Tell me about that. Okay, so <clears throat> the road to riches. You know this. This obviously like this is a little trap house right here. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't say a trap house is like. I really came from like abandoned cribs, you know, right. like basically broken homes, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, like road the riches, the man walking with the bag up the road, and then as you can see, like my name right here. So it's like he taking the bag to my name, you know what I'm saying, on the money road. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, I done overcame a lot of stuff on this career, you know what I'm saying, on this path. So, you know, I really, I really done worked hard to get where I'm at. You know, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of loss of sleep. You know, I've been through a lot, so I really, I really am on the road to riches. Like, no, for real, this yeah. year, this. I, that, that's a clean tattoo, though. No, yeah. I, I like that. that. That's dope. What do, What do you want to do? Far as what What's this? Okay, we in the last, going toward the last quarter. You know, mm -hmm. uh, last portion of the year. What What? How do you want to end this thing this year? And and, and how do you want to start next year? I'm gonna start next year with double XL. You just gonna, you gonna just gonna jump to the end of this year. Like that. Yeah, yeah, cause cause this year almost over. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I didn't I didn't really accomplish a lot this year. Mm -hmm. I'm now I'm main my main focus is next year. But you know, we gotta get that shit like right now. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no time to waste. It's like the clock is ticking right now. You mm -hmm. know? Was <clears> this year? With it. Was this year everything that you thought it would be or more? This year really opened my eyes for a lot, you know. This year really made like made me be like, okay, so yeah, I can do it. I can do this, you know. Like it's destined for real. But next year, I want it to be like, okay, yeah, 
you know work this hard and this is what you get. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you know next year I'm I'm shooting for like double XL freshman. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to go ahead and jump right into it, man. Cause shit, bro. The time, like I said, the time ticking. I don't got no time to waste. Right. Cause you know you have a lot of people who are um, aspiring to be rappers or out there trying to be and still looking at you and see you rising and trying to you know learn from you. Yeah, no, so in sure. this past year that you've been hustling and working since you've been on here. Um, tell me something that happened because you know you when you come into the game you have expectations this is mm. what needs to happen in this time blah blah blah, blah. Yeah. but it don't always go how you think it's going to go because as time go along you're learning mm-hmm. but you still have your expectations is there something that happened that you expected it to go one way but it went the other way during this year as far as anything your whole <laughs> career um I wasn't think, thinking about personally. I'm talking where music is concerned because there's a lot of rappers, you know, aspiring rappers who's looking at you. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's been a lot that I expected to happen, but it went one way, you know, like, I don't Give know. me an it's example of one. Like, I expect to happen. I expected my my song with Finance Two Times to do at least, you know, 500,000. Mm-hmm. I ain't expect no more of it, but it went real far, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Now I'm at 1.2 million in, in like three weeks, so mm-hmm. that was one that I expected, you know, to at least get to 500,000, 500, but that shit climbed more than that. I was like, damn, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, it, was a, it was crazy, you know, it was crazy. Does that put pressure on you? Like, because like for me, I know I'm not in the business, but when I think of doing something so great, I'm like, man, next time I gotta come harder than that. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, does it put pressure on you to, to do better every single time? Yeah, because cause once you make one song, it's like, and it's good, and the people listen to it, they're going to want that same energy or more in the next song. So mm-hmm. it's like, man, you just got to be, you just got to want it for real. So, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, it's pressure for real, because... Or I ain't that. I be calling my phone every day. <laughs> see you in the studio. See, see how many songs you do today. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it be pressure, but I understand why. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he, he want me to win as much as I want me to win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he got my best interest right now. You feel me? So, you know, it's it's pressure, but it's it's, it's worth it. Because I hear a lot of rappers talk about they sleep in the studio. You got to take your toothbrush, your clothes. Yeah. You got to stay in the studio 24 sevens. Yeah, I don't, I, don't do, I don't do all that. <laughs> I got kids to go back home to, you know what I'm saying? But, but uh, you know, I be in there every day, you know, but I try. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can do is try, you feel me? So I be in there, you know, I be I be coming up with stuff. I be putting down hooks all the time, you know. I, I ain't that type of person that write a song or write a whole song, but I get a couple hooks out the way, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And just, just uh like, feed off my hooks, you know what I'm saying? So it be, you know, like, it's effort to put in, you know what I'm saying? So, like, plus my brother, he own the studio, so I be, you know, okay. it's, I just be going when I want to, you feel me? So, it's And it's like, very important for you to be in your kid's life mm-hmm. and very, spend time with them. Very. I stay with my kid. My kids stay with me. So once you get on tour and moving around, you ain't going to have no time. Yeah, not at all. Just FaceTime uh, time, part of literally. It. You signed up for it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so do you, you was down at, uh, I seen you down there at uh, 85 South, and mm-hmm. I seen you again, you know, working. Yeah. Uh, them boys, I keep seeing that clip popping up, you know, where he was singing, uh, you did me wrong, you know, you know and, yeah. and I felt like, I was like, man, you know, he really shopping around, he really marketing, you know, what he, the way he's supposed to, you yeah. know what I mean? I love that, that song. Yeah, that part right there is, is dope. And then I, I pushed it out there too a couple of times. Don't yes, play, sir. nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah nigga, I, play, I don't play, I play them games over here. When you get on Boss Talk, nigga, it's a whole different level. Yeah, yes, nigga, they, these niggas don't even realize it. Like, nigga, that nigga gonna shine. We gonna make it pop, see? And mm-hmm. that's what a lot of people don't realize. You gotta, you can't be scared to be different. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So I just really, man, when I look at what, uh, what I see in you, I love your humbleness. I, I, I say, man, I pray you just keep on staying humble. Most of the, the big guys, the ones who really, that really is about, about you know, uh, about something, mm-hmm. about longevity. Yeah. They have the same demeanor. No cap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't, it, 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 nigga don't fake it. He, he is who he is, mm-hmm. and he know who he is, and he comfortable in his own skin. That's a fact. You see what I'm saying? That's the that's that's what's dope about 
when you don't have much to prove, but you're just living in your greatness and you're mm -hmm. doing what God has gifted you with. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of niggas that they they not they have to do all that the antics. But you you one of those guys. I felt from the very beginning when I met you that it was genuine, mm -hmm. and I think you need to hold on to that. You know what I mean? That genuineness it's it permeates the room, mm -hmm. and I think that's the part where it's missing because a lot of people want to do what you're doing, but they 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 don't know how to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And that's just for you though. So every nigga ain't gonna be like you. That's just for you. And mm -hmm. I think like when I meet all the greats, like I said, and have met and been in those rooms, there's a certain way that individuals carry themselves. I just say it like that. So mm -hmm. just keep being humble, bro. You know what I'm saying? And hungry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I better see you hungry because that means you supposed to be posting. You supposed to be, uh, look at my boy back there. He's got that camera out. You supposed to be working. This is opportunity in here. Yeah, this is sure. opportunity. You're on Boss Talk today. We we hot right now, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? That's a fact. So at the end of the day, you hear us. So that camera's supposed to be in the room. Somebody's supposed to take something. Boom, it's supposed to be somewhere. I mean, everybody know we, we traveling. We, we just in L.A., Chicago. We everywhere. Mm -hmm. Earth is our turf. You know what I'm saying? So we, we about to be up by your town. So the thing is, that, that's, that's pushing. That's moving. That's doing. But then I need to see it. You're an officer. Because everything you do now, like you were doing before, I need to see it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and then your manager, he interviewed more better than, than the niggas that he trying to cover. <laughs> this nigga's the best interviewee, nigga. This nigga here going to tell you some stories. <laughs> do you be watching his interviews? <laughs> I mean, you know, like, I ain't going to even lie. See, see when, when I was first starting to uh, get to know him, I was watching his interviews. But... It's to the point where like I know him now, so it's like you know, it's cool. You know, I mm -hmm. I, know, I know what he, I know what he, I know what he about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But but if I run across it, if I run if I run across it, go ahead. Nah, the tacos. I, I just don't want that smell. Yeah, man. them tacos. Nah, them niggas trying to bring them tacos in there. Yeah, so. Hey, man, block the tacos at the door, my nigga. <laughs> block the tacos at the door. These niggas is trying to eat tacos in there and blow the whole damn place up. Yeah. <laughs> Them oh hoes selling some tacos over there, man. Yeah, yeah them shit's good as fuck, too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, everybody be talking about them tacos right yeah. there. Man, sh but, man, but you know, <laughs> uh, on, on the real, man, like I said, man, you won, you you definitely on your way. Uh, I can't do nothing but just praise you and watch and see what comes next. And I'm very, very excited about what's going on with you. You know what I mean? Yeah, appreciate it. To you, see man. you go from, like I said, uh, go go from us, and then once you leave, you you you, you the video came out. Mm -hmm. for did you wrong and then after that uh i end up seeing you like i said kevin gates you was doing the you know you was opening for kevin gates mm -hmm. and then after that i see you i think it may have been before i after i might have you switched up with the south by southwest thing mm -hmm. and then i see am i missing something because yeah i'm watching you know what i mean but uh, you did you did a you lot as the song you, you know, did a song with the Riz. no i ain't did a song with him but you know i was in the same room with him that's my nigga you know, he been on Boss Talk. Yeah. Yeah, man, I rock with that nigga. Matter of fact, I need to call him because we're be down in ATL. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to call him. I want to do a, another interview with him. Mm -hmm. Just like you, I'm back though, y'all niggas. The ones I rock with, I rock with. Mm -hmm. I don't really rock with a whole bunch of niggas, really. Mm -hmm. well, it, looked, sure. it looked like, damn, he interviewing everybody. But like Fat Pim just left here, I doubled down. You know what I'm saying? So how do you like the, the, the you, you've been coming around the Dallas area and watching the music scene. Um, uh, you see the differences, but then you see the waves, man. Mm -hmm. how, how, are you, how are you dealing with all of this, man? I love the Dallas, the Dallas music scene. It's just a lot of people out here that sound like the same people. You know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, it's just you know. But but as far as that is, I, I love it. You know? Yeah, you sound different than them though. But then how how often do people say you sound like Kevin Gates? A lot, <laughs> a lot. Do, how, you do that annoy so? you, or how I do you mean, how do you deal with that? It don't annoy me, you know. But it's like I'm trying to sound like me. You know what I'm saying? People yeah. just try to put another man off on me. You know, but you know it's, they do that though. It's the it's just the raspiness and it's just the deep voice, you know. But that's a good person that, to be compared to because that nigga be working. Yeah, girl. that nigga be working. Did he? Like I said, with him, you did get to talk with him and everything, right? Yeah. How was those conversations? Did he give you any pointers, something that you could share with us? I mean, it's it's like I ain't, you know, I was in the same room with him. You know, we we greeted. You know, it was it was all love, but I ain't like when I go around get people to talk like to that. Him. I don't really. Like, I don't really try to, to talk too much. You trying to keep your cool. Yeah, I try to keep my cool, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, you know. I but I like that. And, yeah. and the reason I like that is because if it's meant to be, 
If it's organic, that nigga know who he is and you know who you are. Yeah. So whoever the nigga may be, not just Kim Gates, but that go for any nigga you're in the room mm -hmm. with. If you've been in these rooms a long time and you like a T.I. or if you like a Boosie or if you're on the level of these niggas, they know you young and you coming into the game. So if they see something in you, then uh, they, they uh, you know, automatically it's going to be organic. You ain't going to have to force it. No, for Am sure. I right? You're right. So I, I definitely, I see why you say what you just said. Yeah. I just wanted to double down on it. But then you know for, me, for me, I have a different <laughs> opinion Here on that. Here we go. I, <laughs> my opinion on that is I understand keeping it cool, but as I got older and realized certain things, when you're in a room with certain people, especially people who've been in the industry or have a certain amount of money or whatever, and that's what you're trying to gain, I would say approach find out as much information as you can. It's not that you're fanning out, you're not fanning out, but you're trying to gain knowledge yeah. so you can know how to take the certain steps to get where they are yeah. and even above. If you have your mouth closed and you're not talking to these people, you're not gaining no information. Yes, you can observe, but you can learn so much more by asking questions and observing. That's what Gutter TV You see said. what I mean? You know that? Mm -hmm. Gutter TV right. was on what you on. But I'm on something different. I'm on, now I'm a leader. So yeah. at the end of the day, some niggas don't want no niggas around. They got all these niggas in the room with them. You you in there, you trying not to disrespect nobody, and you damn sure ain't gonna take no disrespect. Yeah. So you got to be careful on how you move in that room. Yeah, plus they had their own thing going on when I was in there. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not just, like I said, this could be any scenario. Yeah. But I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? But every scenario is... They keep uh, it be like it's dudes in here right now with you. Niggas don't know what you own, nigga. You might not want no nigga talking to you. Yeah. So it's kind of like you watching everything because there is a certain trust factor that you have to be willing to deal with while you're dealing with everybody mm -hmm. in this new. I've been in these rooms, so a lot of these niggas I ain't approached these niggas because I ain't you know. First of all, I had my own thing going, yeah. so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna rock this hoe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, yeah. I ain't rapping, nigga, but I got something going, nigga. Yeah, yeah nigga, yeah. I'm gonna hear you, nigga, with this sauce. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, Straight but up. I get it though, you know, I, I get where she coming from as well because there have been people that I did need to talk to and I had to approach. So there's a time, the Bible say, and a place for everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, that There's a, a time for everything. So you just have to walk by the spirit, man. You have to walk by faith. You got to know whether it's, it's something that is for you. And if it's for you, God ain't going to let it pass you no way. At all. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. Do you agree with that? Yes. All right mm -hmm. then. Look like we I, working I, over here. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> I got a question. Do you think R and B is dead? What? Uh, nigga, stop playing. Y'all better. No, R and B ain't dead. Well, it ain't I'm live not. like it used to be. But nigga, yeah, we'll turn on some. What you mean? They ain't making know, the music. Because I, I know P Diddy came out and he said on you know Twitter, put it out, who killed R and B? You know what I mean? And a lot of his fans and everybody's like, you know, they still love R and B. No, you don't hear it. And dead. But you don't that, hear I, it like that. You don't hear it like he <laughs> used to. No, no, you see you what don't. I mean? So, but that even pushed a collab right now. He's in studio with Dr. Dre doing work right now because of that statement. Mm -hmm. Well, all I'm saying is, you, you see what happened? Hell, you know, uh, yeah, where Genuine at? Nigga, where, uh, where, where them niggas at? Uh, H Town, where these niggas at? Where Jody said, where they at? Where the hits at? These niggas, like these niggas ain't making the music no more. Jeremiah. Then you got young niggas out here. The nigga, what was that nigga? Jeremiah. You got what's the other young niggas that did you, you do it? Well, Chris Brown out here, but he's singing pop. Mm -hmm. yeah. He done went popish because he know that money over there. I don't blame that nigga though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get that. Oh, <laughs> so, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. We oh, just glad sure. to have you, bro. Like I said, um, I, anytime you in Texas, I know you from North Carolina. But anytime you're in Texas, man, you got to stop by Boss Talk 101, man. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? We try to catch on and get on the wave early on. Yeah. You, or, you know, we want to make sure that we locked in with you. You know what I'm saying? That's so a fact. That, that that was important for us coming on. We was new. You was new. It just it just worked. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, that's a fact. Yeah. Anybody you want to shout out? How can people get a hold of you if they're trying to lock, lock in with you? You can follow me on Instagram at the real baby C T H A R E A L B A B Y C. What? Yeah. Did this nigga back in my shop? I can't believe mm -hmm. this, man. Nigga got a chain on now. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to holler at you in a minute. Hey, but anyway. I want to know, you going to sing something for me? Yeah, Paranoid, let's go. Give me that hook or something, nigga. I know you rock that, though.
The streets got me paranoid. I'm keeping my pole on me, pole by me. No love in the streets. Why them folks gon' tell on me in jail? I be my kids make me stronger. Without them, what would I be? Nobody. It won't be longer. Where I'ma be? Where I wanna be? The streets got me paranoid. I'm keeping my pole on me, pole by me. No love in the streets. Why them folks gon' tell on me in jail? I be in love with that chopper. I'm keeping it on me. Act tough, you gon' die. It won't be long. Where I'm gonna be, where I wanna be, ain't no stopping me. Hey man, that boy. hey, listen, man, y'all see what's going down, man. Baby, see in the building, man. Hey, you ain't heard nothing like that on the mics, man. Y'all oh, better real. respect it, nigga. <laughs> respect it, this nigga. Hey, man, listen to the song, nigga. <laughs> Man, Straight thank up. you so much, man. No, for sure, man. Say, man, we up. love you, bro. We love y'all. Love and I appreciate more. you for coming over and checking in with us, right? Anytime. Did you get everything out this nigga? I you got everything. got a nigga back to North Carolina right it's now. Right right now. Right. Nigga's gonna go right now. You headed it back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, going, the niggas going, on these planes, back, man. How you back. like just jumping on these planes now all of a sudden? That shit is horrible, ain't it? Man, come on. <laughs> Especially if it's delayed. Yeah, oh, man. man. You do what you got to do, though. Man. It, 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 you know, he going over there where you had to hop planes and go here and the layovers and all that. I hate that, bro. That's one thing. When I was booking a flight. You going straight fights? Let me tell you. Yeah, when no, I was. I, I, my longest layover was 11 hours. <laughs> ah, damn. Why is that? Because I was looking up. We were looking up flights for South Carolina. There's no straight flights. Uh -uh. There's like, you have like one or two layovers and it take almost all day to get there. Yeah. I'm like, that's ridiculous. So Why much is so it like I said, I'm going to drive. I ain't got time for that, yeah, bro. Yeah, we going to drive. Yeah, I, don't, I only be in the, See, when I go to South Carolina, I only go there to go to the beach. Like, yeah, Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Do they, beach yeah. yeah. Are they beach pretty? Very pretty. Everybody go to. I'm going to check it out, nigga. You okay. ain't said nothing but a word, nigga. Yeah. I got. I'm yeah. take me a runner truck down there. I'm going down there and see what's going on at that Myrtle Beach. Like yeah. Miami, pretty, pretty like Miami. No, nah, not Miami. <laughs> yeah, nah. I went to Miami. That changed my life. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, hey, but listen, South I'll Beach, live stay in away from South world. Beach. You too damn young to be going over there at South Beach like I was that. On ocean, catch me on ocean. <laughs> 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 Thank you, baby C, man. No, we love sure. you, bro. It's love been another on. great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. Yes, sir. Uh...